Hey, I love Colin Kaepernick. Do you? I like that he's making a statement and he's risking things, which always makes it more exciting. And then ha all the dummies in the country don't like him. So that always that makes it more fun, too. Like guys like Mike Ditka. They don't like oh, Colin. Oh, yes. I saw like, that. They don't like Colin Kaepernick, Mike Ditka. And we'll play it. That's another video. But right now, here is Shannon Sharp. And listen to what he has to say. I'm here with Steph Zamorano, Rick Overton, and Hank Thompson. And uh, here's what Shannon Sharp has to say. In World War II, there are a lot of African Americans that went to foreign, foreign sure soil did. to fight. They were fighting for freedoms in a foreign land that when they came home, they didn't enjoy them still. Under that flag, with those veterans. So think about this. You go to Germany, and you go overseas, and you fight for freedom for people you have no idea, have nothing in common with. And the very country that you're representing, when you come back to it, you're second-class citizen. Correct. Agreed. Me, Agreed. I have a very unique perspective. Agreed. Good. Okay. Thank I'm you for agreeing. South Georgia. You are. Look at He's giving approval. I'm 48 years old, Skip. And if I don't tell you my religion... You can't guess it. If you, if I don't tell you my mom's name, you couldn't guess it. I was dirt poor, twelve, a thousand square feet, ten people sometimes, mm -hmm. cement floor, tin roof. I'm well off now. The one thing that I've been for forty-eight years is black. That's what you see. You don't see my religion. Mm -hmm. You don't see my orientation. You don't know my political affiliation. But you see this. I see people get on shows and the officers say non-compliance. Well, I saw a guy in Florida, a white guy, stab two people, kill him, stabbed another guy, was eating the guy's face. Female officer tase him. They have to wait 10, 15 minutes, and they take him alive. I see a guy selling CDs, he's killed. I see a guy selling loose leaf cigarettes, and he's killed. See, that's what gets us up in arms. I should. Because you say non-compliance is a death sentence. If a man is gnawing a man's face after he's killed two people, mm -hmm. we see what happened in Colorado. The guy killed 12, and they take him alive. We see what happened in, in, in North Char in Charleston. What a, uh, uh, nine parishioners. He drives. Not only do they take him alive, they take him by Burger King because he's hungry. So you think we're supposed to be okay with this? No. In what system? So black guys definitely have a perspective <laughs> that uh, is powerful. And, uh, you know, I could never make that case. I could never say those things. You know, that's a guy who has depth. And, uh, and, uh, and it seemed to me like he was having to debate that that guy that he was that that white guy that was on with them it sounded yeah, like we're they, missing the first part of the, the joke first part here. of that right that guy who was saying hey you just, yeah, just he's complied he's all agreeable and i agree 100 yeah. percent. but it seems like he's making a point that with there's some something that host might have missed a little earlier yeah and maybe he's setting them setting them straight on it yeah well i know that jimmy you mentioned recently that if we suddenly started to open our newspapers and read that instead of all these black young men and women being killed by the police that it was actually jews that were being killed by the yeah, police think about that think about if every time you turned on the news or open a newspaper or whatever and you saw a news story about a black guy unarmed black guy get, getting shot by cops but it was jewish guy wouldn't that be weird? They have they have their uh, what do you call yarmulkes on, and they're just shoot, getting shot all over the country. And wouldn't that you'd be like, what the f is going on? They keep shooting Jews like that would be weird. Everybody'd be like, whoa, but it's black people, so it's not a big deal. Just like when we you know just like we wiped out the the Native Americans. We just countries founded on genocide. Nobody talks about it. So isn't that weird? Think about it like that, Hank. What about that? What if what if it was Jewish people being shot? Well, don't you think that people would be going nuts? Right, like the Terrence Crutcher helicopter pilot. Yeah, right? he saw so him. He, and, he, and the audio from that, the first time I heard it, I Saying, thought, oh, yeah, he looks like a bad dude. It, At a minimum, he needs a taser. He said, yes, yeah. and he goes probably on something. And and it and it's just this instant assumption that if you saw, like you said, if it's a Jewish person. Uh, you know, if, uh, you heard a cop on a video say, s looking at a Jewish guy, he looks like a bad dude. Yeah, sneaky. Like, I see the yarmulke. He looks sneaky. He's it, shifty. Yeah, there yeah. Was a, there was a time. Yes. In Poland. 
Yes, well, and, yes. Anyway, and they justified well, it to themselves. Well, you know, so it, the blacks are the Jews. You know, like the Jews were in Germany. So if that's what, I mean, if I was a black guy in America, well, I don't know how they do it. The Nazis at least asked the Jews to get out their own they papers. At least asked, yeah. They waited. Stop and frisk is get up against the wall, and I'm going to rub your body with right. my hands. Yeah. I'm from the government. I'm and this from is, the government. And, and this is what conservatives are begging for <laughs> is national policy where government agents rub you yeah. on the street. Based on nothing. Harass you. Well, terrorize you, We basically. didn't have these problems until Obama became president. That's true. That's true. He imported racism from Kenya. 